Story of Gungle, narrated by Malachi Jaisal. Hi, I'm Malachi. This is the story of my grandpa. I call him Gungle. The story starts here in Taiwan. Taiwan is an island next to China. It has mountains and beaches and farms, big cities and small and small villages. In 1941, Gungle was born in a small fishing village down here, close to Tainan City. His family grew rice and raised pigs too. Gungle's name is Chu Yi Nan. He has one brother and six sisters. Wow. He, my Gungle, is really smart. Just like me, he always loved to study and learn new things. He was always the best student in class. He was also good at many sports, like high jump and javelin. He was also a champion ping pong player. When I get taller, Gong is going to teach me so I can be the champion too. Gong Gong is so smart. He got to go to the National Taiwan University Medical School in Taipei. Gong Gong likes physics too, but his dad convinced him to be a doctor. It's a good thing he decided to be a doctor because that's how he met my papa in January 1969 when she was sick in the hospital. She had. Appendicitis. That's when your appendix is inside, and she had to have surgery. Gongo kept an eye on her, and then they decided to be friends. They got married in 1972. Everyone was so happy. Gongo and Popo moved to the United States in 1973. They lived in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Where my mommy was born, they moved to Cleveland, Ohio. Then they moved to West Frankfort, Illinois. My uncle Frank and uncle Chris were born in West Frankfort. That's where we go to visit them every summer. But West Frankfort is a small town with lots of nice people. Gongo worked hard to be a great doctor. For all the people who live there, he took good care of them, and everybody loves him. Some people call him Doctor Chu, or his American name Norman. Some people just call him Doc. Gong is retired, but he still keeps himself busy. He's president of North American Taiwanese Medical Association. Wow, that's a long name. He visits friends all over the country in Taiwan. He calls lots of people and sends lots of emails. He loves his iPhone. Gongo is also busy at playing golf. He loves golf. Did you know in his whole life so far he's made five holes in one? Amazing. I'm going to play golf. This summer with him, maybe I'll make a hole in one someday. Papa takes care of Gongo and our whole family. She is a great chef and cooks yummy food for everyone. When Papa comes to visit me, she cooks lots of food before she leaves. So Gongo will have plenty of food to eat while she is gone. Gongo loves to eat good food, especially seafood. We fly all over the world, visiting friends, talking to people, and making them feel better. I think they are very popular. Gongo comes to visit me too. I live in New York City with my mommy and daddy. Look, Gongo and me, we do. All kinds of special things together. Gong loves music. He likes to sing and play piano. He all helps me practice and told me to play my piece thirty times. I'm serious. He says it's important.
important to have discipline. Go and watch my recital on YouTube. He told me he, he was very nervous for you, but I was great. Thanks, Gong Gong. That's so cool. We do lots of experiments together, like making fun foods. BMI stands for banana, milk, and ice cream. When I'm busy, Gong Gong explores the city on his own. When he comes home, you can hear that he is nearby because he is always whistling. Gong Gong has a very contagious laugh. Ha ha! And he loves to say, I'm serious. Sometimes when he is be being philosophical, he says things that I only mostly understand. He is a great explorer and scientist and artist. Oh, and he is really good at praying. That's why he is the best gong gong in the whole wide world. I am so proud of my gong gong and I love him so much. That's why my whole family decided to surprise him in St. Louis for his birthday this year. Mommy, Daddy, Uncle Chris, and Aunt Stella and I flew from New York City. Uncle Frank and Aunt Joyce drove from Ann Arbor, Michigan. It's a long way, but it's Gong Gong's 70th birthday, you know. And he's my 